Okay, time to practice another exam style question. I have converted it into Excel so that it's easier to follow and perform the calculation. Obviously, you'd be doing this on a calculator in the exam if it's an MCQ, right? So let's do the calculation. It says a company prepares product A in batches of 15 units. So we're dealing with batches and units, right? So our learning curve table needs to be in terms of batches, okay? And the first 15 units took 40 hours to make. The learning rate is 80%. How much time will the 31st to 120th units take to make, right? Now students tend to get confused because these numbers, 31, 15, they don't fall in the conventional pattern of 1, 2, 4, 8, okay? So what, what I always recommend to students is you have the column for batches, which you'll use for your calculation. But right next to that, for your point of reference, make a column for units as well. So we know that a batch is for 15 units. So simply multiply the number of units per batch with the number of batches. So 15 into 1, 15 into 2, 15 into 4, and 15 into 8 gives us these number of batches. Now it becomes simple. So it says the first batch took 40 hours to make, right? So the first batch, 40 hours to make, average time and total time. The learning rate is 80%. How much time will the 31st to 120th units take? So we have 30 units here. So 31st to 120th basically means the difference between the total time for the 30 units and the total time for 120 units. So for that, now we can simply fill out the table. 80% learning rate, so 40 times 80% gives us 32. Control D to move down the formula. Uh, 32 times 80% gives us 25.6, and 25.6 times 80% gives us 20.48. We have the average time, now we get the total time. So number of batches into average time per batch, two into 32 gives us 64, four into 25.6 gives us 102.4, and 8 into 20.48 gives us 163.84. So the incremental time, total time for 120 units minus the total time for 30 units will give us the time from the 31st to 120th units. And that is 99.84 in this case. Okay? So always remember, if the number of units are getting you confused, have a column for batches, have a column for units to make it easier and more apparent. But remember, use the number of batches for your calculations.